Hey, this is Sarah, your socially awkward seller, and I am coming to you with a vengeance on Monday. Um, I have about nine things to show you that sold over the weekend. Um, I realized that I complained a lot in the last video. Well, honestly, I didn't realize it. One of you pointed it out and made me readjust my focus to what really matters, and that is you not me. Um, however, a couple of things have resolved themselves. Um, I am kicking myself in the rear end and um, am going to move toward working really, really hard on eBay now. I've been so lax. I am refocused and I am going to do it. So, um, you know, no more, well, my sales aren't very good on eBay. Well, no, no, no crap. Really? You haven't worked. Okay, enough of that. And we got better internet. I don't know if it's great internet yet, but at least it's unlimited. So we will uh, work through that as we go. Um, I do have nine sales. I think I forgot to pull one. Let me just check right here. Because I think it is right here and it is and let's just go with that one first um this is a ralph lauren home olive colored um tablecloth it's a square it's not a great big one um and i forget what they paid for this but it wasn't very much like maybe 12 bucks or something um but uh this is going out the dough uh, they just paid for that this morning. That's why I hadn't pulled it. Um, this Rila Kuma, I think is the way you say it, and I don't care if it's wrong. Um, new with tags plush, I have had for quite some time, probably a good six months. And um, I paid 99 cents for this. It sold for $26.99, so a little bit longer tail than some of the plush. I don't know, some of the plush takes forever, but um, a nice return and easy to ship. So, I'm uh, done bitching about it. Um, <clears throat> I sold another one of these Gentleman Jack um, cigar cutters. If Gentleman Jack is a bourbon, I think, or a bourbon, I think, or maybe it's a whiskey. It's one of the two, which are the same thing. It's just they call what's made in Kentucky bourbon, but I've actually seen bourbon made in other places called bourbon. So, anyway, um, I got these for a ridiculous amount, like a dollar for a whole bunch of them. And uh, this sold for $8.09 plus shipping. This is some burnished uh, nickel drawer pulls. There are four of them in here, and they've got these little back plates. Um, I bought a whole lot of these for not a great deal of money. Um, I have lots of them, uh, literally, uh, uh, to sell. And these four sold for $8.99 plus shipping. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a lid for a Salton Eliminator, which is a really useless advice, or, uh, well, I give useless advice, a really useless device that makes lemonade. Use lemons in a pitcher or sprinkle some powdered country thyme in a pitcher with some water. I mean, anyway, I don't care. I bought this to resell, so why am I complaining? This lid sold for seven dollars. Um, not a lot, but you know, parts are parts. This is part, speaking of, of a Thomas Kincaid plate set that you know has a picture. I don't think I think it might have gone in a calendar or something, one of those perpetual calendars. I don't remember. I had three of these, and one of them was chipped, so I couldn't sell that, and then I broke the other one. So this is the only one I had, but this sold for $13.49. This little thing is a toy that somebody gave me or I found or something, I don't remember. This is called a um, Pods, P-O-D-Z, and this is actually a lid to a kid's drink, but these little animals are collectible. Um, this is the T-Rex, and it sold for $6.29. <clears throat> I don't know why people buy what they do. It doesn't matter. I'll just keep selling it. Um, these aren't the, the highest dollar sales, but they're sales. And sales, are, you know, that's activity. And um, once I start, I don't know, listing in my store, that'll make a big difference. Um, four more of those chess pieces, and I'm getting down to the, like the last few that I have. 
Um, these are four white ponds and a partridge in a pear tree. No, uh, just the four white ponds. Five dollars plus shipping for those. And I think this is the last thing. This is a Carhartt Thinsulate, like balaclava, um, or you know, it's got this one's just got the one hole in it. Um, for it's made for cyclopses. Um, which I didn't realize there was a market to Cyclopses. Are they Cyclops I? I don't know what the, the quite the um, correct, you know, plural is for that word. But anyway, um, this is by Carhartt, and I picked this up for like two bucks or something. This sold for $13.49. So pretty easy stuff to um, list or to ship this morning. And I'm going to get all of this shipped up and out of here. Then I got a little shopping to do. I am going to add a little bit of a haul video to the end of this because I have picked up some things recently. And I'm going to show you those and, um, uh, and then get to work. So you guys stick around. I'll be back. God, that was lame. Hey, this is Sarah, your socially awkward seller. And I am back with you um, to do a a haul video but this isn't from any one particular place um, this is a um, it's been over like several days that I've picked up a few things here and a few things over here and but I thought I would show you what I got um, it's dark outside and I have not hung curtains because they haven't finished the trim in my room so uh, every night about 10 o'clock there's a free show uh, cause I have to get ready for bed, but I'm just kidding. I go into the restroom to do it. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know what that was all about. I picked up this little wonder art, um, latch hook. Um, these don't sell for a whole lot. I paid $1.49 for this one. I could probably get $10, $15 for it plus shipping. Maybe. Um, no, that's not. Uh, oh. I bought myself a derby shirt. Um, it is a, it's 142, so it's not like this year's derby shirt. But it was cute. It was a dollar. I love a dollar. Um, I picked up this for a dollar fifty, and it is a Pampered Chef cookie press. But this is kind of like the, like like the food decorator. So it's not really a cookie press. It's it's the food decorator, like cake decorator. Um, and I probably will part that out because that's that's what I do. I'm a parter outer. Um, I should have turned on some other lights so you don't see all the shadow. But let me tell you, see the shadow right here? It knows. The shadow knows. Anyway, I picked this up. I paid $4 for it. It's this vintage candle magic kit. Um, because it sounds like this, I am going to open this, but it's still, still sealed at the moment. But I just want to make sure that the stuff isn't all broken up inside, which it kind of sounds like it. But, um... Yeah, if it is, I'll just, you know, chalk it up to vintage. But um, if it's not, I will sell it as open box. It doesn't have a date on it. But I think it's been a minute since they did those. Because I remember them like in the 70s, um, maybe into the early 80s. But I don't feel like it went that long. It would be okay if it with me if it didn't, if it hadn't have gone that long. But whatever. And I gotta remember to hurry up because my phone is going to um, die at some point. Uh, I picked this up for three bucks, and this is some vintage fabric. Um, it is two yards, and it's only 42 inches wide, but kind of cool. Um, those rust colors, kind of fall colors with some green in it. Um, it feels like cotton. It does have the tiny bit of stretch, 
not much like on the diagonal that's see that's diagonal um just just so you know but uh i should i'll probably list this for around i don't know 18 dollars for these two yards maybe more sometimes i just get all smart alecky and just price it whatever i want um and then just take an offer I paid a dollar seventy-five. This is one yard. It's actually a little less than a yard, I think. Feels like more than a yard, though. Um, but it is this. The Bob's Merrill Company, Raggedy Ann and Andy. So it's a like a gingham check, uh, pink and white. And it's got these little scenes with Raggedy Andy and Raggedy Ann. Um, and it, I thought it was really cute. There is a certain group of people that like to collect um, Raggedy Ann and Andy stuff. I'm not such a big fan of them, but I don't have to be because... Somebody else can take this to their home and love it and cut it into pieces and make some, I don't know, kind of pink gingham teddy bear or something. I don't know what I'll price that for. I need to, I'll probably do some comps on that maybe. Um, that is for me. I picked up this. Uh, this is a party light candlestick and I paid two dollars for this and I may just sell the shade for like 15 bucks or 20 bucks probably 15 bucks um, and maybe yeah because I'm pretty sure that this shade breaks a lot but uh, I forget what that particular lamp is called but I have sold it before I picked up this food processor. This is a Kenmore shortcut. And um, it does take these a, a little while to sell. This was two bucks. And you know, I can always just sell the bowl, the lid, and the blade, the blade, and uh, not have to worry about selling that much. And let's see what else I got here. I got other things. You see what I did to that defenseless food processor? Don't test me. Um, this was a Black and Decker. Um, I've sold this particular um, line of Black and Decker. It's called the Easy, Quick and Easy. And um, there's like a whole host of model numbers. Um, this one, the lid uh, has a crack in the this little bit right here. I'll have to check and see like how serious that is, but it looks like I wouldn't sell this. This one has the continuous feed blade, the chopping blade, the bowl, and the bowl has a chip in the top. I didn't check this very well, did I? Um, has a chip in the top, but the uh, the blade will do me good enough uh, for my four dollar investment, I think. And then I've got the pusher. And who knows? I may decide that this isn't bad enough, and I may sell this for like half of what they're actually going for, um, just so I can make a little couple extra bucks off of it. Um, pick this up for ninety nine cents. 99 cents? 79 cents. Um, this is a brass rabbit uh, trivet. And I don't know, I, I just like, I like brass, I like cast iron, and I like trivets. I'm very trivety. Um, so I won't get much for this. This is probably a $10 item. But for 79 cents, I know that there will be the alpha sellers out there being like, you have to do the work. You may as well make more money than that. Well, okay, they can do it. I don't care. Um, so this is a 
lot uh, I paid five bucks for this this is a lot of flannel flannel um, there's this red here and this is of course a southwestern pattern I don't know how much is here but I should do fine with that just being five bucks I'm pretty excited about this because I love the 80s I just love them because they're awesome um, let me see if I can get the staple out of this. And anytime I found something from like my childhood, I grow very, you know, sentimental and I wax nostalgic and, uh, mostly because I think because when I was growing up, we were so poor, so, so, so poor. I never had any of these things. I talk about them like popped colors and, um, you know, Nikes and all that. I didn't have any of that stuff. Other people had it, but um, I like to talk about it. And uh, this is another thing I didn't have. This is a Monchi Chi puzzle. Um, do you remember the Monchi Chi doll? It's the one that sucks its thumb. Um, this was a line of dolls in the middle 80s. Let's see, what does this say? I don't know. Oh, 1981. Oh, I thought it was later than that, but um, anyway, very cute. Munchie chi, munchie chi. Oh, this is all dang cuddly. Yeah, I remember the song, so sue me. But anyway, I feel like I have Tourette's. Wait, maybe not. Um, it would be unfortunate. I feel bad for people that have to suffer with Tourette's and other things. Stupidity is a big one. Um, I bought these albums for my grandson who is very into vinyl at the moment. Um, I picked this up. This is just one of those things you immediately know if you've sold it for a while. This is Waverly Fabric. I think this is a yard and a half. It's like upholstery Material, I paid $2.29 for this. I don't know what it's going for, but this is a very, very uh, common uh, sought-after print, I think. It's a very common print. I've seen it a hundred times before. Uh, let's see what else is in here. This I paid, I probably paid up. No, I have, this says $4.50, but I only paid $0.50. Cents. Uh, yellows, yellow tags were $0.50. Cents. I was like, why did I pay $4.50 for this? Um, it is a canasta set, and it says right here, the White House. Um, then it says Raphael, Will, and Company, Sutter, Post, Grant Avenue, San Francisco. I don't know. But I thought maybe it would have some value, and maybe it won't. That's never stopped me from buying anything. Um, so it's got the canasta scoring sheets. And then it has canasta cards, canasta cards. And this looks like, I'm not sure that it is, Anna, um, but this looks like a Bakelite tray in there. So, um, yeah, this could be worth, it's not gonna be worth all that much, I don't think, um, but I just thought it was cool. And I'll have to research and see why it says the White House. Um, I don't know if these are like official canasta cards. Is that a thing? Um, but anyway, I just thought it was cool. And that's what is, that's what motivates me most of the time. Coolness factor. Um, or worse yet, perceived coolness factor. Uh, there's some masks that I bought. Um, this is... Um, a restor restoration hardware hand warmer. So this is not vintage, but I just thought it was kind of cool. It is a reproduction of a 1955 pocket hand warmer. Um, if you don't know how these work, they're similar. They're basically a lighter. And um, you would fill the, you know, with butane. And then this would light, uh, but you keep the... Um, lid on it and heat this up and that's what keeps your pocket warm because don't we all need a warm pocket no this is for like warming up your hands but um 
<laughs> it says pocket warmer. I'm just saying pocket warmer. Not hand warmer, pocket warm. Okay, I'm over that. Let's move on. Driving you people crazy. Um, I found two of these little Scentsy Disc, um, like, uh, I forget what these are called, uh, Scent Bug. And they have this little door, a little scented disc goes in here, and it actually just blows air through, blows air through that, um, that scented disc out the top and then it fills your room with some stench not stench i meant smell um but uh it's always weird because somebody will choose the worst fragrance and it'll be on those and i'm like that's terrible and then i threw it in the floor like it didn't even matter let's see what we got here um i picked these up they probably won't sell for a whole lot. That should be my ta tagline. Because I say it all the time. Um, these are gold rosette curtain tie backs. And um, I paid 50 cents each for them. These are re resin. They're not brass. 10 or 15 bucks for the pair. But I like buying curtain hardware. I always sell it. And isn't that what this is all about? Always selling the curtain hardware. All right, this is a Molinex, like, food grater, electric food processor thingy. It's got these, like, round blades like that. A cylinder, I guess, not a round. Um, I, this will be parted out. This was 50 cents because it was a yellow tag, and yellow tags at that store were 50 cents. I've already said that. I don't know why I'm repeating myself. Um, I paid $4 for this. This is a um, grass collection thingy, I guess. Uh, they don't sell for as much as I thought they would. It's only like $30 new, so I don't know that I will actually end up listing that at all. Cut, cut my losses. Uh, I picked this up. This is an Aquasana. Um, it is a water filter system uh this is actually the water dispenser but there is another part to it that i left out in the car and basically you fill it with water um, and it plug it in and it forces the water through the filter and fills up your um your dispenser like quickly and it's supposed to um it is supposed to filter out 20 times more than like a brita filter and I'm not picking on Britta I'm just saying you know those like filter pictures uh, I, I'm interested to see this work I paid $16.99 for that with the mind that we might keep it so um, who knows I might I might not but uh, I picked this up I'm not sure if I've showed this before but I may need your help so This is the only thing that's in here, um, and it, it is, it says MBI on the bottom, um, and then it's clearly meant to hold a collection of something, and it's Christmas themed. Um, this is resin. I have not been able to figure out what it is for, so if you know, please tell me, because it would be rude not to um but it did come with these two little christmas trees so um yeah i got nothing i don't know what it is but i was willing to take a risk because that's what i do i live with my toes hanging off the edge not not really but uh anyway this back in here this was 10 bucks so I hope it's actually worth something um, I picked this up I think I'm gonna keep it I paid five bucks for this it's a big metal pumpkin uh, it is painted white but it's got gold accent on it really cute it is made to hold a candle and I I'm thinking I may suspend this from the ceiling and put one of those LED um, candles in it I just think it's really cool. And uh, it's 
supply room, I can do what I want. I picked up this um, really cute uh, napkin holder, letter holder. Uh, it's brass. Doesn't sell for a whole lot. I paid $2.99 for it. No, I think $1.50. I think it was on sale. Um, and uh, it sells for like $10 to $15. But I just like my brass stuff. I don't like keeping it most of the time, but I do like selling it. This was something I picked up for $0.79. Cents. And this is a um, vintage Hong Kong pencil sharpener. So there's the crank, and on this side is where you insert the pencil. And uh, I just thought it was really cute. And uh, I think there's a couple of new ones listed for 20 and 30. I will just list that for whatever and see what I can get for it. Um, I picked this up for $6.99. It is a Mr. Coffee uh, espresso maker, and I think this has not been used. It looks really clean. Um, still got the manu manual, the manual in the in a uh, bag. So I'm hoping that if I don't like it for myself, because I clearly bought everything for me, then I will um, then I'll part it out probably. Um, I picked this up for $7.99, and I paid too much for it. Uh, but it's made by Yamaha. This is a wood case, and it is a metronome. But it has been overwound. Um, it has a winder like a music box, and somebody has overwound it. And I didn't realize it because, you know, my attention to detail sometimes is not the greatest. But... It's a really cool piece. I may end up keeping this myself. Um, it's cool. It's very nicely marked. So we'll see. Uh, otherwise, they're like twenty to thirty dollars, I think. Let me see if there's anything else. I know there's a couple of more things, but I don't want this any more than that. Um, let me see. So pick this up. I paid three ninety nine for it. And it is solid brass, and it is one of those butlers or a valet that you would hang a suit and pants on it, and it's got a little tray for your pocket change. Um, this one is really cool. I am going to do a video where I clean this up, not because I'm an expert at cleaning up brass, but I just want to see what it, uh, you know, how it cleans up, and um, I'm going to try to use um, bee beekeepers. No. Barkeeper's friend the um, uh, the liquid and see if this will clean up with that because you know um, it's worth an experiment. Uh, this I am listing for about four hundred dollars. Uh, it probably won't fetch that much, but there have been some in the three hundred and fifty dollar range. So okay, I have four of these. I am not going to list them or lift them all up because there's four of them. But um, there are these wooden panels, and they are hand-painted with floral. Each one of them is different. It has a cast iron decoration on the top. These are not terribly old. Um, made in China. Uh, I'm not sure. Like, I'm really not sure how old this is. Um, but... I am listing the four of these um, for some made-up price. I, I don't know what that made-up price is yet because I haven't found anything comparable. But I paid $15 for all four, $14 for all four of those. So I'm sure I've forgotten something, but it's okay. You won't even know because you weren't there when I bought it. So you won't be like, oh, you forgot the, uh, no, see, it doesn't work like that. No. Anyway, um, oh, I wanted to show you this because I think it is so adorable. I did not thrift this. I got this at Dollar General, and it is for me. And it's this cute little Highland cow um, print. And I think it is so gorgeous. But then I'm like, I look at the twinkle in her eye, and I'm like, 
Oh, I'm a Highland cow. I'm so sophisticated. Uh, I, I, I don't know where that comes from. Anyway, um, I can't wait to get that hung up somewhere. Anyhow, enough with my crazies. Uh, thank you all for watching. I think there are some new people here. This is not a typical video in that normally I have a sense of humor. Hmm. But uh, I appreciate you all being here. Thank you so much. Like, comment, sub subscribe. Uh, I try to respond to each and every person that comments on one of my videos. Thank you so much. Just remember that the dream works when you do. So keep dreaming. Keep working. I'll see you guys the next time. Bye.